If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on, guys? I'm here. Welcome back to another video. Another 6 o'clock content video. It has just turned 6 o'clock. I'm hoping... Like we had yesterday with Chris Morland, I'm hoping we get another decent SBC today. I want something between 83 and 85 rated that is either dynamic, which means it can go even higher, or just something really nice and usable. Nothing that's just overpriced and a bit meh. You know, we don't want any of that. Player moments, Kenny Lala. That was expected. Two requirements. I actually thought it would be a flashback, not a player moments, because last season, of course, Kenny Lala was a massive... Um, upgradable player he just kept getting informs every single week so we'll have a look at that in just a second have we been given anything else it doesn't look like it um this was already here all this was here headliners challenge rare electrum pack that's not bad yeah that's it so rare electrum pack tradable as well i do like a rare electrum i won't lie to you um 76 rated team nationalities minimum five players from the same league uh, sorry so same nation max three rare players minimum Five. I will get that done and open that. I just want to check to see if there's no new league. It would be blissful if it was, but I don't... Nope, didn't didn't think so. Uh, there probably won't be a new league now until the end of Headliners because EA don't like to issue leagues when the there is a promo on because they know people will do League SBC. Um, nothing new in terms of um, any of these players either. So no new milestones, no new objectives. Let's go and have a look at that Kenny Lala then. I don't know how... I've just gone into my squad. There you go. Have a, have a look at my team. Um, I don't know if I really need it. Let's have a look how good it is. 3 star, 3 star, high, medium, 5, 10. Last year, of course, touch on the short side. This year, height doesn't really make a blind bit of difference. That, my friends, is a brilliant card. Uh, the composure is low, and I know a lot of people will point that out. But honestly, apart from that, I don't even mind the fact that the agility and the balance are sort of mid-70s, high 70s. The rest, I mean, that's a fantastic card. I would imagine that's probably 285s, maybe even an 85 and an 86 rated team. I'm hoping 85, 86. That doesn't surprise me in the slightest. I don't know whether I want to do this or not. It's a good card. I like it a lot. Uh, prime mixed and a rare mix, so... the the packs are dreadful. Um, I like it. I think it's a very good card. I, d I definitely think that's worth it. I think on the market that would be an expensive card. But I don't know whether I personally have a use for it. Um, let's let's see what I have in the club. And, and let's just see if I can actually get this done. So let's just see if I, if I can do the 86 rated team without having to buy an awful lot. I don't mind spending coins, but without having to spend too much would be nice. So let's just use those 288s. Um, pop that around like that. Let's go down here and just see what we've got. So I should realistically get rid of some of these, like like Vela. Am I ever going to use him on this account? Probably not. Toko Akambi, same thing. Do I need an inform? Not for this one, but for the other squad maybe. Um, I am going to need some players for the 85. I don't have an awful lot in terms of, like, high-rated cards here. I might be able to get away, though, with using some 83s, 84s. Um, I don't know what the chemistry is either. I think it might be 60 chem. So let's just see if we can get away with using all these. Um, don't particularly want to... I mean, in my mind, they're expensive, but they're not, are they? Uh, but I, I can't help but, like, think, oh, well, they've got a bit of a price to them. I know I've got... That's a loan, so that can't work. Um, I know I've got... Oh, hello, I've just got rid of David Silva. What is going on? I've got... I've used, like, Lozano, I think it is, who I've currently got in my main team, but I'm not going to be playing with that team anymore anyway, so I'm really not that bothered. Um, there you go. And maybe let's just see if we can get away with using... I saw an 83 Haller or something. I'll put Pickford in there, and I'll put Zaha on the, on the bench as well, and we'll see where we are so that's an 84 rated team the way it is let's take out some of the 82s and see if we can bump it we need 86 though so that's quite a quite a jump that is the first segment of Kenny Lala done I've had to spend a bit of money to do it I had to buy Fernandinho and uh, Alder World but I think it'll be worth doing a uh, nice little review on him I do like fullbacks this year I do I use them a lot and they get a lot of assists for me they they go around the uh, the outside 
and they use them on honestly like outside wingers almost. So I'll be I'll be happy to pick him up. I think I do have a um, a spot for him as well. So we're gonna get a rare mixed players pack for that. Of course, we do have to do that um, rare Electrum headliner challenge thing as well. Uh, we'll open all the packs at the end. I do now have to build an 85 rated team with a team of the week. I'm not sure how much this is currently coming in at. I should really head over to Footbin, have a look to see if anybody's done it yet. General consensus of this is it's it's half and half whether it's worth it or not. Um, it's currently coming in at around 275 to 280,000 coins. Do I think that's worth it? No, probably not. I think that is on the expensive side, definitely. Uh, I think... If you can do it for 150, 180, maybe, possibly. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it, it all comes down to whether the card works for you, right? If if the card isn't isn't going to go into your team and you're going to have to try and force it in there somehow, then, yeah, it's probably not worth doing. It's probably a, a waste of time. However, for me personally, I, I, I liked Kenny Lala last year. And I think this year, I don't mind giving these up, actually, because they're not really worth anything. I think they're untradeable anyway. That is my stupidly over-the-top expensive 85-rated team. I bought Chiellini, I bought Donnarumma, and then I bought Insigne and thought, that's it, and I'm just going to pack it with whatever I've got in the club because I, I kind of gave up. Liverpool have just beaten Manchester United. As a Liverpool fan, I kept just drifting over and not paying attention to what I was doing, so I thought, I just want to get this done and out of the way. So there it is. I've spent more than you really need to, but this is an account I don't really care about anyway, so I'm not really that bothered. As you can see, I'm, I'm down in coins massively. But there is Player Moments Kenny Lala. Um, I think that's a really good card. I'm just thinking it is it is on the expensive side. I mean, realistically, you, you 200 and whatever it was coming in at, 250,000 coins is far too much money for this card, regardless of how good it looks. I don't think you should be paying that for a, for an SBC unless it's either dynamic or it's a player further up the field. Then again, though, and I say this in every single 6 o'clock video that I ever do, if you personally think it's worth it and you don't mind spending the coins or using whatever you have in the club to do it, then ignore what anybody else is saying. It's worth doing. For me personally, I've done it A, for content, B, I can get a review out of it, so again, more content. And it will probably fit into some sort of French team that I have on this account anyway. I've got the likes of uh, Angel Di Maria and Fabregas and a few other special cards as well knocking about that I don't really use. So I could build some sort of special French team with them. I like the card. I think it's absolutely fantastic. It's just, for me, it is a touch on the expensive side. You know, knock 80k off it. Maybe. Maybe. Unfortunately, the packs back for it aren't great. There is another pack worth doing, though, of course, and that is the, um, whatever, it, oh, just add, I just had it there, and I went past it. Uh, there it is, Headliner Challenge, Rare Electrum. So, I'm going to quickly get this filled out. There it is, a little overkill, again, uh, much as what we do, but uh, a 76 rated team. I've just used all Portuguese league. I don't care about that league, personally. So, there we go, uh, Rare Electrum. So, we've got three packs to open. Not that they're the best packs, like I said, the Kenny Lala rewards are poor. Uh, I think if they were, I don't know, maybe if they gave you back a rare Electrum and maybe a 25k or a 35k pack, for instance, for the 86 rated team, then I think maybe we'd be laughing. This is probably going to lag as I open it, as it always does. Um, I think then we'd be laughing. I think, you know, drop 80k off it, give us some, some slightly better packs, and I'm all right with it. To be honest, had they said, right, Kenny Lala's price currently coming in at maybe two... I don't know, maybe an 84 and an 85 rated team, no inform requirements, and untradeable 50k packs back for both. That'd be banging. That'd be a really good SBC. Unfortunately, they've not done that. Maybe that's a bit overkill, but untradeable packs for me, they're not really worth it unless they are really nice untradeable packs. So like a 55k pack, a 50k pack, something like that, but untradeable. It's it's a like a, it's a decent trade off, I think, because it's like oh well, it's a 50k pack, but it's untradeable. So it's like, I'm happy if I pack something, but if it doesn't work in my team, I'm just stuck with a with a high-rated card at the end of the day. Um, unfortunately, these aren't really worth anything, so we're not got anything good from the rewards. 
Uh, the, the last pack to open, of course, is the Rare Electrum. This is from the Headliner Challenge SBC that we just completed. So the Kenny Lala rewards didn't give us anything good. And this is the final action of the video. That's going to be a ball, at least. Um, and it's a walkout. Right, well, so we're going to be able to recoup some of what we've spent. It's going to be... Uh, Ter Stegen. Hey, I'll take that. I thought it was going to be Manuel Neuer. Ter Stegen, 90 rated. I'm definitely happy with that from the headliner challenge. It is tradable as well, so I could... Well, I think I am definitely going to sell it. Um, I don't know, maybe 40, 50k is he worth something of that nature? I th I tried to... I went to buy Handanovic earlier. Uh, oh, we got Wijnaldum in there as well. Um, I went to buy Handanovic earlier, and he was worth a lot. He was about 45k. So yeah, we might be able to get about 50k pack 50k back for that and we've picked up Kenny Lala so not too shabby let me know what you think of Kenny Lala's SBC in the comments like I said uh, I think it's a great card it is just a touch on the expensive side for me uh, but uh, if you have enjoyed it and you want to see more six o'clock content continue to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and until the next time goodbye football index the game changed download the app now